Chargers, Ravens. This is going to be fun. This is going to shock you. I'm going to take the Chargers, and I'm going to take them by double digits, I actually think. The Ravens' two biggest weaknesses on defense this year, one, pass-catching running backs. The Chargers have the best one this year in Austin Eckler, and two, more physical-type receivers, and Mike Williams has been great. I think those two will blossom. I think the, the Chargers' defense outside rushing with Brandon Staley, they've gotten a lot from that, and they've even gotten a lot from their secondary, too. I'm going to take the, the, the Chargers in a blowout in this one. I'll say 31-20. to 20. I do think the Chargers win this football game. I'm not necessarily having it that far out. I would say 34-31 Chargers. How about you, Jeff? I mean, I'm taking the Chargers just for one main reason. I think they're just better at every position. Hmm. Better at running back, better at quarterback, better at receiver, better on defense. I mean, there isn't a position that the Ravens are better at than the Chargers. So, I mean, I think you got to take the Chargers. Uh, this is a pick 'em game. I I I, I think Lamar Jackson. I, I I would disagree. I think Lamar Jackson's had just a good a, ju- has just a good of season right now as is Justin Herbert. He's been sensational now. Justin, I mean, Her- do you think do you think Lamar Jackson is a good thrower of the football? Is, uh, is he's getting Herbert? better. He's getting better. Uh, getting I, better isn't uh, isn't answering the question. I, I do you think he's just as good at throwing the football as Justin Herbert is? Um. What we've seen in the last two years, no. But that doesn't mean he's going to win. Then there you go. Then there's an answer. What are you talking about? There's an answer. I think. No, I think Lamar. I think Lamar Jackson. An like, well, he's getting better. I, I think. Like, I think Lamar Jackson's a better all-around, better quarterback than Justin Herbert. I, yeah, because he can run. He yeah. can run, but well, he certainly cannot throw as nearly. Yeah, no, but he certainly can't throw nearly as good. All right, and the posi- well, that's what the position is: throwing the football. Not necessarily because he's been dominant by running the football and throwing the football. I, listen. I got the charges in this game, but I think it's going to be very, very close. And I wouldn't be surprised if Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens win this game. But give me the Chargers. It's not going to be a blowout. It's in, it's in Baltimore, and, and Baltimore never gets blown out at home. So uh, it's going to be a very close game. This is going to be, the, I think, one of the best games of the week. So give me the Chargers. Uh, Vikings. Panthers. Another blowout. I'm going to take the Vikings in this one. I think this is going to be a tough matchup for Carolina. Yeah, because I think this is going to be a tough one for Carolina because DJ Moore has really been the only skill player that's done well for them the last two weeks. Robbie Anderson's had a lot of trouble. Their running game had a lot of trouble. And the Vikings defense definitely has looked good in certain instances the last couple weeks. They played well against the Browns. Obviously, the Lions aren't anything special, but they've shown flashes. And those receivers against a banged-up secondary for Carolina, I know they finally get Stephon Gilmore. We'll see how he fits into that scheme right away. I think this will be. I think this will be a pretty big margin of victory for the Vikings. I'll say thirty-one. Uh, same score, thirty-one to twenty. I'll say this game's going to be very, very close. I think you're crazy. Now, here's my problem: Kirk Cousins sucks in big games, and Sam Darnold looks like the Jets. Sam Darnold. So I don't know. Christian McCaffrey didn't practice today. Which Calvin Cook's going to gonna be back. I, I don't really know, but Carolina is the best defense in football right now. They're at home. I'm going to take Carolina at home by the skin of their teeth. Uh, 17-14 over the Vikings. Jeff? Yeah, I'm, t- I'm taking Ginger Hercules in this one. They've lost a, you know, a couple of games. They've had some adversity. You know, Stephon Gilmore is going to show up. I think that'll provide the uh, the spark that they need, and they'll get back on track offensively. No Christian McCaffrey, but Chuba Hubbard is a pretty good young back as well. If Christian McCaffrey plays, the Panthers win. If he doesn't, they lose. I, 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 if Dalvin Cook is definitely playing, I expect him to go out and run all over this defense. Uh, I, I, as good a defense as it is, they have not played a running back this good this year. Give me, give me the Vikings. I, I picked the Panthers on a pick 'em, but give me the Vikings. I, when you look at it right now, and Christian McCaffrey is not playing, give me the Vikings in this game. I think the Vikings win. It's a close game. I'd say a field goal. Dalvin Cook has over 120 yards in this game and a touchdown. Just so you know, they already stopped Alvin Kamara once this year. No, that's great. Uh, Alvin Kamara. Yeah, the run the, defense has been good. Alvin yeah. Kamara is not the same running back this year. So, uh, Cardinals, breezes, Browns. I'll take the Cardinals. I think it'll be close. No, because I believe Michael Thomas hasn't played yet. Wait until Michael Thomas comes back and you see what Alvin Kamara is going to do. Watch what's going to happen. Well, I'll take the Cardinals close for, for two reasons, one of which Cleveland is relying a lot on their running game to win in, in recent weeks, and Arizona's run defense has been very stout this year, especially on the interior. And, again, Chubb and Hunt will get theirs to some extent, but I don't think it'll be as consistent. And I don't think the Cardinals have enough – or I don't think the Browns have enough outside weapons to take advantage of the Cardinals' lack of – as much lack of secondary depth. Kyler Murray will obviously be limited rushing-wise, but I think the, the offensive players will take over from there, and their line will play well. Give me Arizona 30-24. to 24. Yeah. 
Who do you got? Here's the thing, right? You're completely wrong there. Run defense for the Cardinals sucks. It's actually like 28th in the league. But I, here's the problem. Hunt and Chubb both might not play. Baker Mayfield's got a torn labrum in his shoulder. Odell Beckham Jr. is not looking great. I mean, I think this it, could be a game Odell Beckham has a good game. I, I, I think Odell, not as Odell's going to need it up. if Cleveland stands a chance. Um, him and Njoku are going to have to carry the load. I, I think Arizona's going to win this game on a field goal. I'm going to say 34-31 Arizona. Jeff? Yeah, I'm taking Arizona. I, you know, I just... They had a down week offensively last year. I think they'll bounce back and really put up some points this week. I, if Chubb and and Hunt was 100% healthy, I, I would say this is an upset. I say the Browns beat them. But because I'm unsure if they're going to have that running game and that dominant running game, I don't think they're going to beat Arizona. I, I think this could be a blowout, actually. Um, I'm going to take Arizona in this game. I, I, I just... Too many injuries right now for the Browns. So, give me Arizona. Uh, Raiders, Broncos. I'll take the Broncos in this one. Of course you will. Low scoring. No, no, no. I I, I said I like the Raiders. I was impressed with them in the beginning of the season. So, I'm not saying the Broncos are going to blow them out all of a sudden because the Raiders have an interim coach. I think their defense will play better in this game. The line has struggled. Like you were saying earlier, Josh Jacobs is not 100%. And they have the middle of the field to contain Darren Waller where I don't think he'll be the big threat and the Broncos offense has still been pretty good so I'll take the Broncos again close low scoring game I'll say 23 to 17. Tyler? If John Gruden didn't just lose his job the Raiders would have won this football game but I, I, I'm Denver I, at home at mile high the the Raiders going through all this adversity J, that Jacobs is not going to be ready to play apparently he's sick now they're questioning if he has COVID I think, like Speedy said, I think Darren Wall is going to get shut down, and they have the corners to go one-on-one with anyone. Renfro, Ruggs, doesn't matter. Uh, I think this game could be actually be a blowout. I'm going to say 28-14 Denver. Jeff? I'm taking the Raiders in this. I just think this is a case. There are distractions, and the team's got to look inward and dig deep. I think that defense is really good for the Raiders. And I, I for whatever reason... The offense just isn't working. I don't know if Teddy Bridgewater is going to be back, but Drew Locke last week stunk. That Broncos offense hasn't been great. I'll take the Raiders in this game. I like the Raiders in this game too. I, you know, I, I don't know who I did in my pickums and and all that other stuff. But if you look at the Raiders and Derek Carr, he is 100 percent healthy. And 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 Jeff is right when when you talk about. Uh, when you lose a coach, you, you know, you have to band together. I think Derek Carr is going to come out strong. He's the leader of this team. He's a sensational quarterback. He needs to get back into that MVP hunt. He, last week he was. He's fallen out. He, 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 I, I do believe he's going to come out strong. And uh, Drew Locke is starting this week. I, I heard that he is. So give That's me, even worse for the Broncos. Uh, give me the Raiders in this game. Cowboys, Patriots. I'll take the upset here. I'll take New England in this one. Here's the thing. I think the Patriots' defensive scheme against generally those quicker type receivers like CeeDee Lamb, I think will end up helping to contain him where they're going to make him them run the ball and then stop everybody else. And that secondary has still been strong. That's why they're able to trade Stephon Gilmore. Offensively, again, the Patriots don't have much to offer, but I think they can win a, 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 sl- a low-scoring game against the Cowboys, contain the field goals. I'll say 20-16 to 16 New England upset. Tyler? Someone sued my notes or something. Um, I, I do I, I do think New England will win this football game. This has got Bill Belichick's DNA written all over it. When you think the Patriots are done, he finds a way to win a big game at home. I do think Mac Jones will find Hunter Henry a lot today, on uh, Sunday. Damian Harris has got to wake up if they have any chance of turning the season around. I don't think he does it against Dallas. They're actually a really good run defense. Um, I'm going to say 14-10 because I, I think the Patriot defense will shut down Dak. New England's going to win this game at home. They have no choice. Jeff? Yeah. I don't know if anyone's been watching New England, but they're not good. <laughs> right? Like, And they still – oh, great. We got one of our offensive linemen back. Yay. Dude, they're going to get run over by that Bron- uh, the Cowboys front four. Run over. They. It's all backups except for one dude. And there's, I haven't seen the Cowboys in a low-scoring game yet. The Patriots don't have enough pump to keep up with them. The Cowboys are just going to outrun them. 
I, I agree with Jeff. I think the Cowboys win this game. I think they're the better team. Uh, the Patriots don't have a healthy offensive line. The Cowboys have been getting at the quarterback. Uh, what did they have? Five sacks last week. Diggs has been unbelievable. Probably been the best corner in football. Uh, I, Mac Jones, he's throwing these seven, eight-yard passes. You're not going to win against Dak Prescott in this highly profiled offense. And I believe Zeke will be able to run the ball when they open up the field with Amari Cooper and obviously CD Lamb. Give me the Cowboys. I, I don't know if it's I mean, going to be a blowout, but it'll be close. But I mean, I it's, not a, it's not a good sign when you're like, oh, man, we got to mount a comeback against Houston. Yeah. I got the Cowboys. Uh, Seattle and Pittsburgh. This is this is interesting. I'm actually going to take the upset here with Seattle. They win weird games, and Pittsburgh, we know it all the time. They play down to teams a lot. I think this is one of those instances. And these receivers, I think he's going to have some big plays. I don't think Gito Smith will be great, but I think the receivers will get just enough. Steelers have had trouble with big plays down the field, and their offense has had their own issues too. And Seattle, even though their defense has had some trouble, I think it'll really just be Najee Harris and not much else. And that offense. You do realize this is in Pittsburgh. I do, but the Steelers play down to teams so weirdly. This I feel this feels like the weird game that I think is going to happen. I'm going to say Seattle, 21 to 17. Tyler, if this game could end in a tie, uh, I, yeah, I it might. It might. <laughs> no, Russell Wilson. Geno Smith is not going to win this football game. Uh, Geno Smith has no reason to be a starting quarterback. Geno Smith on Sunday Night Football. <laughs> that that, that Geno Smith and Big Ben might be the worst matchup oh, in Sunday Night Football we've seen. He was here. good when he took over for Russ, though. I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> I mean, uh, I think the Steelers kind of win by default. I mean, their offense sucks, but the Seattle's defense is the worst in the league. Uh, Steelers 28-7 over the Seahawks. Jeff? Yeah, I'm taking Seattle. I think they're just all around a better team than Pittsburgh is, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And I don't think Geno Smith is as bad as you guys are making him out to be. Yeah, he was bad on bad teams. Dude, he scored on three of four of the drives that he had with Seattle on Sunday night football or Monday night or whatever it was or Thursday or whatever, right? And the only drive they didn't score on was because the receiver was interfered with. That was a good good throw he made. Give me some Geno Smith. I'll take him over Rafe Lisberger. Mm-hmm. Rafe I've got the Steelers in this game. It's in Pittsburgh, 820. It's going to be cold on Sunday night. Uh, I, I like I like what the, uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers did last week, Johnson – is back. This this is going to be a high flying offense. I I don't trust Geno Smith. I don't trust the Seattle Seahawks uh, running game. You have to run the ball. You have to open up the field for Geno Smith in the play action. I don't believe they're going to do that. Steelers win this game. Um, Bills and Titans. Last game of the week. Monday Night Football. This is a great Monday Night Football. Game. Yes, it is. I'm going to say close game. I'm taking Tennessee, though. I'll take them at home. I think this is a, finally a get-right game. Julio Jones will be back. Yes, I think this is a get-right game for that offense, finally. I know the Bills' defense has been very good, but I think they'll be able to have enough depth to shadow Tredavious White there. Other, even their backup receivers look good in certain instances the last two weeks, so I think Ryan Tannehill trusts them a little more. Not that I trust Ryan Tannehill a whole lot, but the Bills, the Bills I think, have a little bit of a letdown after that. I think the Von Diggs will play well, but uh, that's really about it. Yeah, I'll if AJ say, Brown healthy and yeah. you have Julio Jones back healthy. I'll say I'll say be... close game, twenty seven to twenty three. I'll say Tennessee. Who do you got, Tyler? This game will be a blowout. The Buffalo Bills will roll through Tennessee. I mean, you're talking about a team that lost to the Jets, and I'm, this isn't a shot at the Jets, but the Buffalo Bills are a significantly better team than the Jets. And if you couldn't, if you barely lost to the Jets, and the Jets kind of contained Derrick Henry for his standards. The Buffalo Bills are going to shut them down. This game will not be close. I'm going to say Bills 38, Titans 14. Uh, Jeff? Yeah, I don't think this game is close either. I think the Buffalo Bills are the best team in football. All right. Very interesting. Uh, I've got the Titans in this game. Julio Jones, uh, home game. Uh, this is an important game for the Titans. they got something to prove. A.J. Brown could have a splash-out game. I I, listen, the Bills are great, but the Bills always lay up duds, and I think this is a Monday night football game that uh, they're going to lay up a dud. I think the Titans, Derrick Henry's going to run on this defense. Derrick Henry's a beast. Uh, he, he's going to eat this team up for dinner. It's I've got the Titans. You know. This is going to be a very close game, uh, but I, I think the Titans are going to be able to control the clock and, and control everything. So I give me the Titans on this game. Very, very close. Uh, The Titans win the game and give the Bills their second loss.